You can create room separation lines when you need to take a room and divide it into smaller enclosed areas. Take for example in the data set this particular room object that is filling the entire floor plate. I would really like to separate it into smaller areas as well as separate out this elevator lobby. We can do this by clicking on the home ribbon and from the room and area panel click on the room split button. Choose the room separation line. We're brought into a sketch mode and as you can see the contextual ribbon place room separation is active and we have a single draw panel. The properties for this tool are minimal. There's a move with nearby elements which we can check. This way if these walls move the room separation lines will follow. So I'll just simply sketch from the midpoint of the wall opening to the opposite and do the same down on the other wall to fully enclose the elevator lobby. Now, when we click the Modify tool and hover over the Open Office Room tag, we can press the Tab key to pre-highlight the room and then pick. You'll notice that, that it's no longer flooding this elevator lobby. So we can actually place a new room. And I can specify its label to be Elevator Lobby and I will pick. So notice the room separation lines did not actually need to be placed all the way around this room. They just need to fill the gaps between the open walls. We can also divide larger areas. So for instance, we can break up the open office area into departments perhaps. To better see where the room is currently flooded, what we can do is we can go to the Visibility Graphics Overrides. So I'll just type VV at the keyboard and I'll scroll down into the Model Categories tab to the Rooms and expand that and turn on the Reference and Interior Fill and click OK. Now you can better see where the rooms are and if I go back up to the room tool split button and choose room separation line we can then start to sketch perhaps some divisions on column line 5. So I'll place one segment and then I'll remove chain from the options bar and I'll place another segment. And you can be as accurate as you need to be for this. And then I'll also enclose the whole conference room wing if you will, separately from the model. I'll place rooms up in these areas and actually now that I can see where the rooms are placed and where this room is flooding I'll notice that I missed creating one up near the top. So okay back on the home ribbon from the room and area panel I'll create that last remaining room separation line segment and then return back to the room tool and place these rooms. Remember we edited the name earlier so we might want to set it back to a name that makes sense. So I'll call this north area up here meeting area. And then I'll call this other west portion of the building the design studio. Okay, so that's it really, room separation lines. You can of course hide these in the view and here is where it might be a good idea to have separate working and plotting views. Right click on the level 1 plan and choose duplicate and duplicate with detailing. Rename the copy by right clicking and type working level 1. Switch back to the original plan and select a room separation line. On the view panel click on the hide tool and choose hide category. This will hide the category in the active view.